All right, let me show you what we have here. Uh, there is a gentleman on YouTube's, I believe it's Two Trees. Um, you can find him, though, if you do a search um, that says um, knife sheath made out of dog bone. And you will find him because, to my knowledge, he is the only one who has done this and came up with the idea, at least to my knowledge. Uh, it was a fun project. I suggest you do it just for fun, kind of S and G's. And um, here we have an old hickory knife, wonderful uh, uh, high carbon steel. I don't know. I'm going to guess hickory handles, wood anyway. Full tang, uh, brass uh, rivets here. A really nice knife. Good camp knife. Um, inexpensive. Comes without a sheath. So I kind of wanted a sheath, you know, just to, to be safe when it's packed. And maybe we'll take it camping or something one day. I don't know. So I wanted a sheath. Uh, and I saw this idea. Now you could go and you could probably purchase a, a sheath. Um, I've got one here that might work or at least something like it. Um, you know, you could buy a $15 little knife and... Uh, or a little uh, whole knife and sheath and get it to fit and stuff. But where's the fun in that? Come on. So what this uh, gentleman proposed and what we did is you get these dog bones for about, hmm, you can find them on sale sometimes, but uh, I think I paid $8 for three of them and my dog will chew the other two. Um, and you take this dog bone, which is made of rawhide leather, and you soak it for... Uh, minimum one hour. Um, we found uh, that um, 6 to 24 hours um, was best. Uh, 24 hours just because we were lazy. Um, and when this unfolds, because once it gets wet it gets very pliable and soft and you can just unfold the whole thing. Um, there is some crap leather in here that you just dig out and throw away because it, frankly it stinks. But it, I think it's just something to wrap this around. Um, it's non-usable though for our purposes and um, when this all unfolds it unfolds into a large uh, sh sheet and uh, if you've got any holes in it or rough edges you can trim those off with your your knife and uh, you end up with a, a very pliable sheet of this rawhide um, and again it's very pliable you could sew holes in it um, which I could have done here but didn't. Um, you can slice it, cut it, uh, trim it, and whatever. And then um, when you get it where you want it, you let it set. And for about the, the same length of time as you uh, did to soak this, it will get hard again. And uh, what we did, uh, my wife and I, Rita, is we did this in two... Um, we took the knife and we put uh, some plastic... Um, uh, baggy material, uh, you know, just around the blade, uh, and I oiled it up real good first because it is high carbon and you're putting this wet stuff around it. Um, I didn't want excessive rust that I'd have to clean off later, so I wrapped it in this plastic wrap, saran wrap, and then uh, we wrapped this leather around it, and we left it to dry. Uh, the next day, it was a little tight to get out, and I kind of had to unwrap this first layer uh, to get it out. So, in retrospect, I probably would have done something a little different, but we got that saran wrap out of there and all that stuff, and, and this was pretty well dry. And I found that I had a little problem. When I put the knife in, it would slice that first... Uh, you could see the blade right there. So that was pretty dangerous. So we had plenty left. I rewrapped it the second night with uh, with this second wrap. Of course, everything's painted with spray paint, um, which I don't believe will hurt anything. I just kind of wanted to do it. Um, we did fold this up around here, um, actually my wife's idea, so we could put a little thing to hang it on a tree or whatever we needed at the camp site, because um, this would be a very good camp knife. Um, so with the second. Um, wrap we put around this way, made a little place for a belt, uh, slide it on your belt. Won't go anywhere. These are glued 
um, with, just with hot glue, although I don't believe I really had to glue them. I just wanted to be sure. And of course, it's just a little piece of leather. So I did this because, uh, I don't know, I, I was bored, so I did that. Um, this is tight in here. It'll loosen with time, I'm sure. But it works really well. And I think this would have to be wet for a solid hour or more in order for it to get pliable again. Um, I mean like just laying in a lake or something. Um, other than that, uh, once it dries out, it would dry out the same as it is. Uh, so, this was a great project, a lot of fun. My wife and I had a lot of fun with it. And, um, you know, again, we could have bought one, would have been cheaper. But if you're kicking around some ideas and stuff, this was pretty cool because leather itself is, <laughs> it's pretty expensive. Um, I guess, again, it, it's weird to me. I don't know. I guess because you buy it in bulk, you can um, purchase a, a, a leather sheath, a cheap leather sheath, cheaper than you can purchase the leather to make the cheap leather sheath. But this was fun.